<clears throat> Welcome back to uh, to Let's Draw. Uh, hello, uh, all my students. Um, like so many of you, I'm uh, staying home now. I'm sure missing you all, especially uh, uh, my students in Cayley and Blackie, Alberta. I'm missing recess a lot. And um, today I'm, I'm really excited to show you how to draw one of my favorite... Um, winged friends and that is the golden eagle. I'm going to ask you to move your paper or your sketchbook to a horizontal format like that. So that's also called landscape or if you're one of my students this is a hot dog style. Get yourself some hot liquids. Um, I'm drinking tea today. I have a good coffee first thing in the morning but Okay, let's start off with uh, kind of a big, kind of like an oval shape coming right through here. I guess the oval would come all the way off your page here. And then for the, uh, we're going to do more or less a uh, portrait of an eagle here, I would say. And we're going to have his beak come down here. And I want you to look at this negative shape in here. This is where the eagle is not. It's just the sky or whatever. But try and make this shape kind of like this. This is going to be the eagle's shoulders going to come up through here. Okay. Now I was just out for a walk and uh, the neighbor was actually in his garage. Like a lot of people these days, they're uh, getting outside a little bit, staying in their garage, staying safe away from people. And uh, he said to me, hey, um, he said, I've been watching your how to draw a cat video and uh, he said you got to break down the shapes a little bit easier for uh, the students to see okay so I'm gonna go in here kind of where his eye socket is now uh, Just went for a walk. I was hoping maybe I would see the eagle out there because I've have had a uh, it's been a golden eagle hanging around here and uh, I see him just about every day. Must have a nest or something close by. Just gonna double check my camera here to make sure that I can see what I'm doing. Uh, give you a break. Okay. That looks okay so far. Maybe take this a little bit further out his shoulder. Like I was saying, when you're around an eagle, don't watch its beak. Don't be too worried about its beak. You always got to be steer clear of the eagle's uh, um, talons, its feet, because they're so powerful. That's why uh, an eagle handler usually has really thick leather gloves so that uh, they don't... Um, doesn't affect your arm when you're uh, holding the eagle, when the eagle's perched on your arm. I really like um, in Mon Mongolia there, they, uh, they hunt with eagles. And uh, there was a girl, I forget the name of the movie, it just came out recently, but uh, it was about 
first girl eagle hunter she's winning all these competitions for hunting with her eagle and she was only I think 12 or 13 I th you can find that on uh, on Netflix that movie but they ride on horseback and uh, and the eagle helps them hunt for rabbits things like that going to pick up uh, my car it had a flat tire going to walk after this to go to go pick it up so I might uh, who knows maybe uh, I'll see an eagle I'll bring my camera with me in case the eagle comes by now as I was mentioning to you when uh, I taught grade one, one and two at a place called Calgary Arts Academy in Calgary. Um, I went to my son's volleyball game. He was in high school at the time and it was in Canmore and uh, the Birds of Prey Center happened to be there and uh, there was a uh, eagles there, owls that were being rehabilitated, injured and um, I went upstairs there in the Canmore High School and uh, I saw a couple of little girls they were they were uh, watching this eagle and a golden eagle and his name was Spirit and Spirit had been found by a woman near uh, Milk River Alberta in a ditch and um, Spirit had been shot I don't know why somebody would do such a thing but he was injured she took him to the birds of prey center she wrapped him in a blanket took him took spirit in uh, her van and uh, took took him to the birds of prey center and uh, they determined that he was blind the uh, the shot of the uh, the gun had gone into his brain and he couldn't see so he was totally absolutely reliant on on uh, humans to to feed him and therefore he knew that uh, he had to depend on people so uh, he was I guess for all intensive purposes you would say that he was tame and that uh, he wouldn't hurt anybody and um, so I watched the girls with the with the eagle they asked uh, Colin Weir they said he was a eagle handler he they said uh, how could we help him and and uh, he said well you could raise money for food and um, so I decided that I would put this to my kids my students grade one and two ask them um, what do you want to do for spirit that was the next day at carpet time I said what do you guys want to do and they said uh, well let's let's um, have a bake sale raise some money for him so that he can eat him and his friends and uh, also let's um, write a song to cheer him up so I said okay let's do that and it wasn't long after I woke up at night and I had a song in my head I heard a song in my head and I've never written a song or anything like that, but um, I knew how it was supposed to go. It's a sad song, but um, ultimately a happy one. And uh, so I, um, I told the kids the next day at school, I said, you know what? I dreamt of the song. I said, uh, I think that, I think that uh, our music teacher, Mr. Cam, he'll... Uh, I know how it goes, the music, um, but I want you guys to write it, write the lyrics. And so Mr. Cam wrote music, lyrics with the kids and myself, and uh, we came up with this song. And so we invited Spirit to our gym, Nasium, and we performed it for him. I had a, my friend build a metal stand for him to, to sit on and uh, 
we performed the song and the whole gym was full of parents and everything like that. And then at the end of it, we'd raised $750 from, for the bake sale. And so uh, we had a big fake check. So I stood on one side of Spirit and I uh, um, presented Colin Weir with the fake check, 750 bucks they made for the bake sale after singing our song and everything. And, and I feel something on my shoulder. And uh, all the kids are laughing and they're giggling and screaming. And, and um, Spirit had one wing around me and he draw, drew me in for a hug. And it was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I don't know too many people that have got to experience being hugged by an eagle, a golden eagle like that. And uh, so that was a really big deal. And then after that, Mr. Cam and I decided, oh, we need somebody to record this. Not somebody famous necessarily, but someone that would really uh, be able to give us song meaning. So, uh, so I took uh, the recording to Ian Tyson, and he's a country music singer. And uh, he said, yeah, I'd like to sing this with the kids. He said, my voice is... is uh, He's gone, like there's something wrong with it. I, I, uh, I've injured my voice, but uh, he said, I, I will come and I'll sing it with the kids. So um, while I work on this, I'm going to just put the song on and you can hear it. You can hear it on uh, uh, YouTube or Spotify or whatever you want. I'll just play it while uh, I draw the eagle here. One, two, one, two, three. I was born to fly I was born to touch the sky I was born to fly these great wings of mine Then fate looked my way I fell to earth on a sunny day I can't see anymore I guess I'm here to stay Fly, spirit Fly, spirit, fly be your eyes You can be my guide There's something coming in here The world is dark But I still can hear I feel the tender hands That take away my fear She whispered Don't be scared I know a place to go And we'll find sanctuary there Fly, Spirit Fly, Spirit, fly I'll be your eyes And you can be my guide I'm used to flying free I was as strong as a bird can be And though I may be blind I've helped many people see When I dream I'm a mile high When I dream I hear the voices cry Okay. 
Yeah, that was my uh, my grade ones and twos. They're adults now, or young adults. They're in university. I saw one of them the other day, but uh, when they sang it, they were obviously in, in grade one and two. So that was really good. Um, Spirit's unfortunately no longer with us. I mean, he would be, if he had lived longer, he'd be very, very old by this point, but um, the Birds of Prey Center is still there, and I believe they still have eagles that need to be taken care of, so if you want to do something for them, um, donate to the Birds of Prey Center in Coldale, Alberta. I'm sure they would appreciate it.
Okay, so we're just about done. Um, just adding these little feathers here. Now I just want to put a little bit of highlight in his eye there. Remember what I told you at the very end? You want to uh, you want to put a little bit of reflection in the eye. That's going to make it stand out. And we're just about done. And the main thing about this is not about how this turns out, but did you enjoy sitting here with your tea or coffee or whatever, listening to the music, forgetting about your problems for a few minutes, or I think this one is probably going to be more like an hour, but that's okay. What else do you have to do? The whole world is on a pause right now. You might as well just enjoy drawing and uh, really have fun. This is something that I've done my whole life, continue to do, and always will as long as that I have health and uh, good eyesight like the eagle. So I think uh, next week I'm not sure what we're going to draw. Um, some people have said, well, can we draw a dirt bike or whatever? I think I'm going to focus on uh, on uh, the natural world for a while. It's really amazing, even outside my house in the last couple weeks, the world's kind of slowed down and uh, nature is really, uh, it's amazing. Uh, the deer are coming in the yard. I'm seeing an eagle just about every day. And... Uh, this is a good break for nature, and it's a good break for us, too. Okay, guys, I just realized that, um, that uh, this whole time I've been filming, that my hand has been in focus, but um, the drawing has not, and I apologize to you uh, for that. It's in focus now, but it's too late for me to to start a new drawing so uh, forgive me for that and um, you know on that note I know uh, I, I hear a lot, a lot of my students say I can't draw some some students say I suck at drawing that kind of stuff and uh, you know what I always say is that uh, maybe you can't right now so we always say it uh, at uh, the schools, the teachers and I, we say, if I can't do something, maybe I can't do it yet. Always put a yet on the end of that. Um, so I'm not a uh, great uh, camera person, videographer or whatever yet. This is only my third one in, in like uh, two weeks, um, third video I've made. So um, I'm learning every time I do this. So I'm not going to um, get down on myself for doing something wrong because uh, I didn't know how to do it until this minute. So, um, you know, another example of that is that uh, uh, last year I started taking yoga and I couldn't even sit. I couldn't even sit um, cross-legged, believe it or not. And... Uh, you know, I just kept at it, kept at it, and my feet were cramping up all the time, and I wanted to give up, but now I can sit cross-legged, no problem, with my students, and I thought, you know, I couldn't do it, or whatever, and it's the same with this. I don't expect you to draw something like this for the first time out, because I've been drawing half a century, 
for half a century, yeah, 50 years. So um, <clears throat> look at uh, the eagle uh, back here, his, his feathers, they're kind of like a kind of like a punk rock haircut or something. And um, these little parts are kind of like leaves. They kind of look like leaves coming coming out. So I shade around them. Now on this drawing, I haven't used any uh, tissue paper. Um, I just have used uh, this pencil, the HB pencil, and I've also used uh, the eraser on the end of it, right? So, um, so uh, you should be able to do a lot just with this yellow pencil. If you uh, are indoors for the next uh, few months or whatever and you're drawing, I would encourage you to just use a pencil like this until uh, you can do amazing things with it. And then when you've got some extra, like some different supplies, and I'll show you some of those later, like kneaded erasers and all the different hardnesses of pencils and blending sticks and all that, then you'll be able to do even better stuff. But uh, for now, this is all you need. You don't need anything more than this. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I think this is just about ready. I'm going to put uh, the date down here. Always sign your stuff like, uh, okay, so it's the 30th of March. And that's 03, the third month, 20, because it's 2020. And this isn't any ordinary eagle. Like I said, it's a golden eagle. I'm going to put that down there. And then I'm just going to sign it here.